evening. Before we start this video, I want to let you guys know that I have a brand new upload schedule, and that schedule is whenever, whatever, at whatever time. It is my Christmas gift to myself this year to not stress myself out and schedules stress me out. I'll still be having uploads one to two times a week, but realistically it gives me more room to be creative and more room to spend more time on videos or more room to crank out videos if I feel like coming up with characters that week. This was my schedule when I very first started YouTube. I did it for years and then I'm like, nah, maybe I should do a schedule. And now I'm like, nah, I don't know about the schedule anymore. <laughs> I just want to create. I don't want to analytics eight. Yes. With that being said, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a makeup character out of toilet paper rolls. Now, because I know the internet just loves challenges, we can also call this a one color challenge. Oh my God, I almost just said all the products that you say be listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me. What better way to celebrate the holidays than to cover yourself in toilet paper rolls? A lot of toilet paper rolls. You may or may not have come across on the internet where you can actually use toilet paper rolls to create candles. You could probably use real candles for this, but I would highly, highly, highly not recommend putting candles against your skin or near your hair or anywhere near your body. Safety. On top of all those guys, you're also going to need a glue gun, white acrylic paints, and some battery operated tea light candles. And you know, glue sticks, paintbrush, things that go with these things. While my glue gun is heating up, I'm then going to cut out little waves on the top of what will be the candles. That way they look more melty and less like toilet paper rolls. I also want to create different heights to my candles, so just snip off the bottom or the top, whatever you use it for. Using your glue gun, you're then just going to go around the top of your candle and add where it's starting to melt. From there, you're also going to want to continue your drips to be a little bit longer. You can then go ahead and add longer drips coming off from the top. I would suggest going from the bottom and connecting it to the top. That way it has more of a drip effect as opposed to it being heavier at the top and lighter at the bottom. It just wouldn't make sense. And repeat the process on all of your candles. Now because I am going to be melting these to my shoulders eventually, I'm also going to add some hot glue at the very bottom of these just to help that transition happen between the candle and my skin later on. Once everything is dry, you can then go ahead and paint it all white. to worry about the insides being perfect or completely finished because we're going to be putting a tea light in there anyways. Once everything is dry, you can then take your battery operated tea light candle, which the switch is on the bottom and the bottom of those are still open too. So you can still access the switch, turn it on and off. Take a little bit of hot glue, add it along the side and then stick it in. Make as many candles as you need to make it look like you're summoning the ghost of Christmas past in your kitchen. For the rest of the headband, I actually found these silver poinsettias at the store already on a chain, which is super convenient because I'm just going to measure the size of my noggin. I mean, definitely not as much though. I'm probably just going to use one singular string like this. And by the way, this was 50% off. So th this worked out really well for me. If you're looking for props and stuff for Christmas, definitely wait till December. That is the month of Christmas. But for Michael's, that is the month of everything goes and Valentine's Day starts. That's your time. This is actually what it looks like when it's cut and fits my head. I also went ahead and got these beads, which were also on sale Black Friday, baby, because I thought that these would look nice draping from the headpiece. I will then also be attaching the candles to the headpiece once it's on my head. Good centerpiece for your dining room table, good centerpiece for your head. For the makeup application, we're actually going to jump around a little bit. It's not going to really make sense right now, but it'll make sense in a little bit. I'm first going to apply white to my entire face. And because I'm mainly trying to stick with the color white, I am also going to then prime my eyes and apply a shimmery. Let me get it out. It's by Makeup Forever. It's not so much shimmery. It's more of like, it like glistens. And I'm going to apply that to my lids. So we're really doing like a three step in one type situation right on. Actually, because I think it's going to be a little pale, which is what I want. I'm also going to apply a little bit of silver underneath that. Pretend this is white. It's silver, very silver, but I cannot claim all one color challenge if I use more than one color, so just pretend it's white. This channel is based on imagination anyways.
I just spilled this all. I am gonna be covered in glitter for eternity. Well, especially knowing that I just spilled this all over myself. Might as well put it on the rest of my face, am I right? Makeup Forever, I am heavily, really heavily embracing your product today. Really heavily. There's actually several different ones that I'm gonna be using. This one is gonna be E302, uh, and the one that I was just using is BD01. That's gonna be on my body for the rest of my life. But for BE02, this is gonna have more of a like, pinkish kind of shimmer to it and give it more of a shine. I'm then gonna go over my brows using white eyeliner to give them more of a base of white, then go over them again using white body paint. I'm also going to line my eyes using white eyeliner. Now this next part is going to be why you're gonna understand that I just did my entire face right now, well, Mostly my entire face. Also, whenever you paint your face really white, make your teeth look very dull. Just a heads up. For my body, I am going to be using Graftobian's Effects Makeup Gelatin. Now the reason I'm gonna explain all this at once is because you need to heat this bottle up using warm water. You just put it in a warm water bath for 10 minutes. But once this is in a liquid state, I only have so much working time with it, so I can't really talk and apply and, and do all of that. So I'm gonna heat this up for 10 minutes, make sure it's not going to burn my skin. Very important. Apply it and drip it onto my shoulders and before it hardens, I'm going to also apply my candles on my shoulders. This will also give me somewhat limited mobility with my shoulders because I can't be going like this. I'll be smacking myself in the face with the candles. Also, reminder to turn your candles on before you glue them to your shoulders. While the gelatin's melting down, I am gonna cover myself with a light base of white body paint. using white body paint and then going to go over all of the drips. Using translucent powder, I'm then going to powder all the gelatin because it's still sticky. Since I have so much shimmer on my face, I'm also going to add that to my body and some of the drips coming from the candles. I'm also gonna take a little bit more white body paint and add some tears underneath my eyes. I am then going to pop my contacts in, put some white eyelashes on, white wig, and put my headpiece on. So I'm gonna put my blinder contacts in. And it turns out either I have two different brands or I didn't realize that I have one that's like weaved tighter than the other one. So we have like a half blind and then like a full blind and that's okay. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you share it with your friends, leave a comment, drop a like, do anything and everything possible that you can to spread the love of this Christmas video. And thank you from the ghost of Christmas past.